So, I finally watched this show, Frontier, on Netflix, and I know, I know, it's been around for a while, and I'm just now getting to it, but, um, it always looked kind of intriguing, but then I kind of, like, found something else that interests me, and never got around to actually starting Frontier. Um, so there's been two seasons of the show, and I just started watching it, I don't know, a couple weeks ago, but I got through it pretty quickly, because it was, a uh, it was a really good show. Um, definitely kept my interest, and I wanted to watch it, you know, to see what happens next after each episode. There's six episodes per season, so it's a decently quick watch, um, to get caught up. Uh, but basically, it's a story that takes place in the 1700s, and it's about the North American fur trade and how ruthless it was at the time. And I think maybe that's what held me back from watching it initially. I'm like, wow, a series about the fur trade, you know what I mean? But from the previews that I watched, it looked pretty menacing, you know what I mean? It looked pretty, uh, pretty dark, pretty gritty, and, um... So I decided to pull the trigger here uh, a couple weeks ago. And this follows the characters in it I like a lot. Um, really intriguing characters, and the show does a pretty good job, I think, of character development. Um, telling you why people are the way they are, act the way they do. Um, there are some characters we could still find more about their life, you know. Um, but what you do find out, it, it's relevant. And so, anyway... This stars uh, Jason Momoa, who you would know as Aquaman from uh, Justice League, and he'll be in the Aquaman movie when it comes out. Um, formidable <laughs> looking dude. Okay, um, that's maybe that's not the word. Maybe that's not the word. Anyway, kind of kind of a menacing looking dude. You know, he looked like he could do some damage. Okay, so his character is Declan Harp. And in this particular part of the story, he is dead set on revenge. His family has been murdered by the local um, governor of Fort James, which is like the nearest outpost in this in this story. Um, so the governor is Lord Benton. He's the British governor of Fort James, and he's just a an old kind of bastard of a dude, right? And you don't exactly know how it went down, but you do know that he's responsible for the death of Declan Harp's uh, wife and kid, and he's, he's, he's dead set on revenge against this guy, okay? They're all fur traders, all right? But Declan Harp has went off the deep end because of this, and he's um, taking down... Uh, British soldiers, wherever he can, um, he's just a ruthless guy, and he's just kicking ass, and, um, you know, dead set on this revenge quest, uh, but not only that, he wants to control the fur trade, too, just as well as everyone else, so, um, that's the main storyline of this show, okay, and it's a lot of fun, it's a lot of fun, it's, it's kind of dark, um, I think it does a good job of showing, you know, Declan Harp's character and, you know, kind of feeling how he feels, like, why he's so dead set on revenge now. Um, there's a lot of other cool storylines within the show. Um, you have this character, Michael Smith, who is just a petty thief from London and basically ends up in the New World almost by accident. He um, is hiding... Uh, after stealing something, he's hiding on this ship, and it ends up, you know, um, taking off for the New World. And so he ends up there by accident, and then basically he's discovered and, and makes an agreement with Lord Benton to uh, to go and befriend Declan Harp and come back and report to him where, you know, his whereabouts and his strategy and whatnot, because Lord Benton wants to see the end of Declan Harp, because obviously Declan Harp wants him dead, and he's, uh, been, <laughs> like, giving him a lot of trouble for a long time now. So, I won't get 
into too much story because I don't want to ruin anything for anyone who wants to watch it. I would highly suggest this show. I'd say, um, like, if you don't watch it, God, it's not like you've never seen a show like it, but it's a fun story. It's a fun story. You do get wrapped up in it, and you do want to see each episode. So, um, it's not, it's not a Dexter, okay? It's not a, um, Breaking Bad, but it's a quality show. So, I would probably rate it an 8. Um, I'm not going to be broken to pieces when the show's over. I won't, you know, be left with a bunch of feels about the show. However, I will feel like I have been entertained while watching it. So it has been renewed for a third season now, uh, which I believe will come out like next November. So if you want to catch up, do so and see if you enjoy the show as well. I liked it. Like I said, not like the greatest show ever. I'm not a, I'm not a um, super fanboy about it. I'm not going to be upset. Like if it got canceled right now, I, I wouldn't cry about it. However, I'm glad that I did decide to go ahead and watch the show. So, yeah, a solid 8. Not up there with some of the best shows ever or anything. But, to me, it's a quality show. Now, I looked up some of the reviews. Um, Rotten Tomatoes has a pretty low score of this show. And I didn't read into why. Um, maybe maybe you guys know. Maybe some of you don't like the show and you can tell me why. Um, but uh, it looked like Google users had it at 90-something percent. Um, had a high IMDb rating. It's just doesn't have a high uh, audience score on, or I don't know if it's an audience score or if it's a critic score. It has a low critic score on Rotten Tomatoes, and I don't exactly understand why, but yeah, I like the show. So tell me what you think. Let me know. Comments below. Come back for more because I'm doing videos like this all the time. Reviews of shows, reviews of movies, um, random thoughts, politics whatever comes to my mind I'm talking about on here. So if you enjoy that kind of stuff, then come back for more. Subscribe. All right, we'll see you in the next one.